Hey, and welcome. If we want our website to do something, like play a game, move an element, or calculate a tip, we need JavaScript. This course provides a gentle introduction to JavaScript, the programming language of the web. I'm Deborah Karata, and I'll be your coach as we add action to web pages. This course is for anyone interested in web design or web development. It's also useful for those that manage or interact with web developers to better understand what JavaScript is and how it's used in web pages. Settle in and let's get started. JavaScript is part of the web development trifecta. We use HTML or hypertext markup language to mark up our web pages. HTML provides structure and gives meaning to our content defining headings, paragraphs, and tables. We use CSS, or Cascading Style Sheets, to add style and improve the layout for a web page, giving it color and flair. We set fonts, color, and spacing, and lay out our content into rows and columns. And JavaScript is the programming language that provides logic and interactivity. For a button on a web page to do something when a user clicks it, that something is defined using JavaScript. JavaScript brings our web pages to life. With JavaScript, we can build an interactive game. We use JavaScript's logic to pick a random number. We use JavaScript to react when the user clicks the Guess button. We use JavaScript to read the Guess from the text box and check that Guess to see if the user guessed correctly. With JavaScript, we can add content to our web pages, like messages to the user, and display hidden content, like this Play Again button, that only appears when the user wins the game. Though this example is a bit simple, you can build much more with JavaScript. Did you know that the popular Angry Birds game was written with JavaScript? Anything we want our website to do, we can do with JavaScript. This course assumes you are familiar with web concepts, the basics of HTML, and CSS. If you are new to web design or development, consider watching the HTML course, Gentle Introduction to HTML for Beginners, and the CSS course, Gentle Introduction to CSS for Beginners, from this series. Most importantly, to be successful with this course, you should be familiar with basic programming concepts, such as variables and functions. If programming is completely new to you, consider watching the Gentle Introduction to Programming for Beginners course first. In this course, we start with JavaScript on the web, including an overview of what JavaScript is and what we can do with it. Then, using a code-along approach, we learn where and how to write JavaScript code. We examine JavaScript syntax, including variables, statements, functions, and objects. We discover how to respond to actions such as button clicks, add content to a web page, and change element styles, all with JavaScript. As this is an introductory course, we won't cover everything about JavaScript, but we'll cover enough for you to build a firm foundation of JavaScript knowledge. As you watch this course, you'll see me demonstrate many of JavaScript's features. If you'd prefer to try out the code as we go, you'll want a computer, not a phone or tablet. You'll need a code editor. I recommend VS Code for this course, as we installed and used it in the HTML course. And you'll need a browser, such as Chrome, Edge, or Safari. But coding along is optional. Feel free to sit back and soak in the content. So, what is JavaScript exactly? 